Life? I'll be with you in a moment. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you... Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please. I'm trying to, but you keep... These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. That's the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. You'll make it work. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a pattern on it. Probably a sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered. Already, your muscles are adjusting to the weight. A chilly breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. All sounds smell an embodiment of pure motion. A fine-tuned locomotor. Some would still say you're a cop, but I guess we're beyond that now. I don't care if you are a cop. You do not just ruin someone's game. It's so goddamn disrespectful. You vandalized our game, son. We can't play petonk with five bull. No, no you don't. Our petonk game is ruined. We want our bull back. Take it easy, René. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Of course there's harm done, you oil slug. You are as a goddamn bull. Good. Mistakes are forgiven. Just talk. It'll smooth things over. Old people like attention. Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have... If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I am an old man, not a coward. The daily... This is a man with a lot of past, but little present and almost no future. Thinking. Ah, yes! King Philip the... Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine-snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. A superpower, feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to- Oh, old Philip was a big fan of the purple nose candy the nobility loved so much. A cocaine connoisseur of sorts. Ha! <laughs> His egocentricity is borderline legendary. You can't even take the responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom the responsibility weighing on the shoulders of a ruler? That's why the Philippian kings use cocaine for clarity of vision. To aid in their work. Regnum Cocainum. Ravishal's finest years. Of course. Clarity of vision. Awareness. Philippe III was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered a dose to his mother when she was in labor. 
and it is well known that with the help of cocaine, only the purest, of course, he was able to connect with higher realms. Higher realms. Of course, it all makes sense. It's really not. Please, do spare us the cocaine fairy tales. Yes, indeed. We're not here to investigate the drug trade of centuries past. Decisively, without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak-minded among his subjects, this is something the insurgents never understood. And Nation is only as strong as its leader. That's why it was such madness to try to... Don't get started on that again. What happened, happened. The Carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. No one and nothing can change this man's mind. He is as rigid as they come, still in that antique uniform. It's a symbol for him. Right. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Uh, no. It was left by heavy artillery fire. Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't, though, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannons simply weren't big enough. Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back the... He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. A sign of mental deterioration. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. This here is Blood Ground, where Coalition Boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonk on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They are the lesser evil. Yes, damn it. I know. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, 
hits your home damn full. You, we, the coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course, they still all in fear. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. No, they don't. But I'm sorry it had to be the coalition. After eight years of fighting rabbit commies, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. But this is just what the commies wanted. This was the plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. Damn Frisell. He was a king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him, and the crown. He died a true king in both blood and mind, led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. Suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? <sighs> They've forgotten already. Soon, they will forget everything. Him too. Then, he chooses anger. It's no use talking to you. You were still in Daddy's balls when it happened. When we... The sight of bullet holes stirs something in you, making you forget the lieutenant's surname. Where? There? Those are old. Yes, the one that happened half a century ago. Those bullets were fired during the revolution and do not warrant an investigation by officers of civil law. Not much. I don't have a fresh perspective on it. Shall we go? Volumetric ship compressor. Bizarre scientific news from Revachol West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen lip. Can I help you? What thing? Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. He hates the Union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. 
So he's directing his frustration at you. We should find out who this Lord Faction is, occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest... They... He hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. So he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. I don't. I'm... We should find out who this... We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing. Thanks. I hope you found what you were look how strange. I certainly didn't put them there. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be what. Thank you, anyway. Yes. You see a heavy steel door with a prom. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for Mr. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? It is quite pretty. I suppose we could look into it as a side investigation. Gart is the person to ask about this, the cafeteria manager. The door does not bite. dedicated to that as you breathe in the odor comes over you it's a spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty with your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting you stand in it they do after seven days yes we are deep in the the man before you is naked but for a pair of underpants and enameled boots his skin is greenish marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos cut an intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is his corpse is marked by stars. Alcohol and heartbreak. Of no nation that I know of, if anything. It reminds me of religious illumination, last or penultimate century. Men who live harsh, I agree. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears, some sort of camera. A triggered sunshine, mini. Triggered is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication devices. 
primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see stream. In case we need it. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. Sure, just don't lose it. The glassy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute, and his skin as colorful as the... You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for delicate and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you, out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. They're armor, possibly part of a larger set. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Ceramic plate, zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the hill, Fairweather, Fairweather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. This feels 
dangerous. Are you sure? The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above. Stop! Pig's gonna pull his head off. <coughs> Brutal! What's wrong with you, asshole? I don't know, baby. I don't know why he's such a... Officer, if I may ask, what were you trying to achieve by putting on the deceased foot? A small, bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint, organic lights cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates, until there are hundreds of them altogether. Like whirls of floorboards, the design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton where you noted the worlds are in the shape of a letter and number combination E50 100 1000 Good. Can you read it to me? We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. The cadaver slowly twists on the cart. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into... This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo... Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. No, you're right. The harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. They use whatever was on hand here, without paying attention to not incriminating themselves. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands, this makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess. Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. The cadaver slowly twists on the cog. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. Hmm. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material.
I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. Climb up there and saw the branch? There has to be a less risky way, with less falling down of trees. Someone else? You mean, like, the police? Someone already did. You know who came? We did. Because we... I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him down, fast. Okay. They do have the tools and the men. And since it looks like they put him there... <sighs> okay, let's do it in the lousy, dangerous way. To ask the suspect for help with the victim's body? To be indebted to Evrard Claire? Very much, yes. Clearly we can't. Suck my dick, bitches! The leader of the Union. Yeah? Don't go being someone else's bitches. Your kunos, bitches. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. I'm glad to see you here. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the R- That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief, even. The lieutenant is hatching some scheme. How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile... It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. Quite a few things, I'm afraid. The information I'm to share with you includes... Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. And this is my... How curious. Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of... I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Oh, dear. I do believe you, naive as that may sound. As I said, ma'am, his technique may... Of course, I sympathize. Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement.
She's a negotiator. Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. You're in, but expect her to drive a hard bargain. Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The Union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. They're profiting from this trade. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Or, you can recover your badge. Though, if I may be blunt with you... Detective, a word in private before we continue. Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance, and you know, not volunteer. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your... He doesn't let it show, but there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly, but do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. Oh, that would be fantastic. You could request a new... I'm sure you will, detective. A sturdy metal door. The door rattles again. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. <laughs> the police... Everyone knows the police don't come round here. No, I already told you. I won't go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Backyard door? There must be another entrance to the east. There must be another way into the building. Hey, what's that noise down there? You see a young man on a balcony. Not looking for any trouble, officer. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Is it really that important? Like a nervous cat, he keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us. 
Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? No, not you. Some more muscular type. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Last week? I don't know. Look. You didn't answer the question. I had a friend over. It was my Sunday friend. Makes sense. Friends are nice on Sunday. You don't have to work. You can just spend time with pals, watching rugby, and he doesn't reply. Gesturing, no, with his cigarette. In the neighboring windows, you can see faint reflections of his silhouette, all from different angles. I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. We will remove. Oh. You no, not- And when- Last week? You did- It, <sighs> it was my- Makes- He doesn't reply. Gesturing. My name? Martin Martinez. Good luck. No. We won't- Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Time to bring out your secret charm. Tears and beg him. Show him your emotional side. Trash? Please don't go. I'll even stop smoking and... Listen, I really have to go. Good luck with the investigation. He's gone. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk, he could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, there has to be a way of getting... Stay frosty, Eb. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Good. We're fighting for. Besides, we're not that different. Maybe you should ask. We have families to feed you. So do we, Scott. Thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must as you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make it must be his name. Garanzi. Garanzi Quebec. Sounds representative. his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. He looks up at you, then looks away quickly. 
shrugging and muttering something to himself. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent... The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door... You see too lowly. I can see you were tasteful luxury officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneaks. These once respectable speakers have... No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. The sneakers are the star. These, officer? The Samaran trash. That sounds like they're from the Samaran People's Republic. Produced... No way, officer. These aren't for sale. They're bad speakers. Low-fi socialist junk. No, officer. You're a high-class policeman who accepts nothing less than the best. Lucky for you, I've got the best on sale. Well, if you want them, but see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. If I let go of the speakers, if, on the other hand, you wanted to buy the sneaker... A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and... Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are... Only? That's madness. There are clothes inside. Don't be shy. These are premium... You find your hands deep in tattered and... F Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand. Buy second hand. Keep coming back! That's good, officer! Something cold grazes your hand. Synthetic and sleek. A windbreaker. Good choice, officer. Mega sporty. And it's only 450 for you, sir. The speakers below are banged up and worthless. Sunglasses last a lifetime, officer. One hundred. These are all boring. Boring third rate ho hum sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. The kind of plastic that melts in the. Those UV stickers are almost certainly just there for the show. If anything, these lenses probably direct more UV light. These are all first rate sunglasses. Premium design, super material. Very cool! UV resistant! These will definitely keep your eyes safe and cool while doing your dangerous police. No luck. Oh. oh! 